Hi, my name is Jason Gingrosa, and today I would like to give a persuasive speech on why dress codes should be enforced in schools and the benefits of enforcing dress codes. Whether or not schools should have dress codes is a topic that has been debated for many decades. To some, it seems as if dress codes are pointless and harm the students by taking away their creativity. However, it is important to remember that schools should be a safe environment for students and should help promote learning and equality. When a school uses a strict dress code, the environment of school has potential to drastically reduce incidents of violence. The article, Will School Uniforms Help Curb Student Violence? from the April 1996 edition of Jet Magazine discussed how a school environment can become dangerous if students are allowed to wear what they want. The article stated how teenagers in schools were being stolen from and even killed because of their expensive clothing, and how school violence has increased over the years as the availability of such high-priced clothing has increased. This caused, caught the attention of President Bill Clinton, causing him to address the issue in 1996 in his State of the Union speech. President Clinton also worked hard to help schools set up dress code policies, and he deserves credit for the increased amount of schools that have implemented dress codes. In the article, Uniform Improvement, Daniel Gursky stated how a strict dress code affected the Long Beach Unified School District in Long Beach, California. After a school district implemented their dress code, they found the violence rate decreased tremendously, and they have the numbers to prove it. Overall, school crime was reduced by 36%, fighting and weapon possession decreased by more than half, assault and battery went down by 34%, School vandalism dropped by 18%, and school suspensions declined by one-third. The school district's public information officer stated in an interview that the improved results surpassed our most optimistic expectations. Not only does the environment of school improve with dress codes, the students also see a change. When dress codes are implemented, it has been found that the student body becomes closer. Pat Winger reported in his 1999 article, Uniforms Rule, in Newsweek that a study of two middle schools in Charleston County, South Carolina, found that the school with a dress code received higher marks from its students. Students also find that it is less stressful to pick out their outfits in the morning because they do not have to worry about what styles are in and what styles are out. School uniforms also give students the feeling that they are all equal parts of a team and are striving for the same goal instead of having to be broken up into separate groups based on clothes on their backs. Jeffrey Earl Warren, a contributing writer for a Pittsburgh newspaper, wrote in an article that dress codes help to improve the environment of the school and the attitudes of many students because they feel as if they are all contributing to school based on their academic skills, leadership, and personality traits. Warren also stated in the article that, quote, uniforms allow children the right to distinguish themselves by the deeds they've done, not the duds they wear, end quote. In conclusion, it is obvious that there are many reasons that school dress codes should be enforced, especially when schools notice a drop in crime and violence rates. Schools should take note that students benefit from dress codes by making them feel closer and making them more competitive academically instead of spending time worrying about their outfits. Since dress codes improve the school environment and student morale, every school should at least test dress codes to see the positive improvements for themselves. Thank you.